Question 9. Here are some shapes on a grid. We've got A, B, C, D, E and F. It says, which three shapes have reflective symmetry? You may use a mirror or tracing paper. Well, for reflective symmetry, what we can do is get the mirror, stick the mirror on the shape, test it in a variety of places. Can you find any point on the shape where when you look in the mirror, what you see in the mirror is the same as what is on the other side of the mirror when you look over the top of it? If the answer is yes, then the position you've got your mirror in is a line of symmetry. So for example, if we pretend this blue line is our mirror, if we place the mirror line on there, like that, then could we fold this shape over so it fits over? Well, this bit would fit, fold over there, this bit would fold over there, this bit would fold over and fit over there, this bit would fit onto that bit, this bit would fit there, and this bit would fit there. So this half of the shape would fold over exactly and fit on the other half of the shape. Therefore, this is a line of symmetry. So shape A definitely has reflective symmetry. So we need to fill that in. That's the first one. Moving on to shape B. So we could draw that in if we wanted to, down the middle. Moving on to shape B you can see that this bit here would not fold over and fit there because there's nothing there to reflect it onto. And this bit would not fold over there because there's nothing there. So there is isn't, there is not a vertical line of symmetry on shape B. What we might like to do is test for a horizontal line of symmetry. So let's rotate that round. Now again, this bit would not fold over there, and this bit would not fold over there and reflect. So there is no horizontal line of symmetry. What we could do is test for a diagonal line of symmetry, because sometimes there are. So would that work? Well, this little triangle here doesn't reflect onto there, and this triangle here doesn't reflect onto there. So that doesn't work either. Now if there's no vertical, horizontal or diagonal line of symmetry, there is going to be no line of symmetry. So shape B we can cross out because we're not interested in. Shape C. Well shape C might be an obvious one. It looks like it's going to be a horizontal line of symmetry. So let's rotate that round, rotate your mirror around, pop the mirror on there and just check it. If you look in this side of the mirror, you should see the same on the other side. And again, all the bits will fit over, so this bit will reflect onto that bit. This triangle will reflect onto that triangle. This bit will reflect here, this bit will reflect here, and this bit will reflect here. So that should work. If you folded that shape over, it would work. Therefore, we do have a line of symmetry across the middle. So shape C is another one that we're interested in. Shape D, well, it's an arrowhead, so let's try putting the, the mirror down the middle. Now you can see that this half is much bigger than this half, so that's not going to work. So shape D we can rule out. Shape E, Let's try vertically. Well, this square doesn't have a square to match up with on the other side, so it can't be a vertical line of symmetry. Let's try horizontal. This square does not have a square to match up with on the other side, so it can't be horizontal. Let's try diagonal. Now, this is the interesting one. This little triangle here matches up with this triangle. This square matches up with this square, and this triangle matches up with this triangle. So in fact, there is a diagonal line of symmetry on shape E, which we can draw in straight diagonally down the middle there. Obviously, you can use a ruler, because that hasn't actually ended up straight, but yeah, use a ruler and draw your line of symmetry in. And shape E is the third shape that we need. And actually, it spells ACE, A-C-E. The only one we haven't tried is shape F. If you want to do that one just for good measure, we could try it. Again, 
um, there is not going to be a vertical line of symmetry because I'm going to put the mirror down there. This shape has this square has nothing to reflect onto. And this shape won't reflect onto there, so it can't be vertical, and it can't be horizontal either because for the same reason. This shape doesn't reflect down there, and this square doesn't reflect there. So there's your answers. A, C, and E.